Well, Nokwell drapes slopes of Kilimanjaro to the vast grasslands of Serengeti, East Africa's people have a rich region with stories and traditions that date back to the beginning. Be it through warriors, medicine men, bullfights, or sacred totems, the tribes of Kenya and Tanzania are without question among the most fascinating in the world. Here's a look at why five of them have captivated visitors for generations. The Luyaha live in the western part of Kenya and divide into 18 small tribes. Traditionally, they believe in one god called Were, who they worship through intermediaries. The spirits of dead relatives act as intermediaries and have considerable power to help or harm. Luyaha people sacrifice goats, chicken, or cattle to calm the spirits. Also, there are nearly 750 clans within the tribes. Each one of them has a totem, a bird, animal or plant they won't touch, much less eat. If a Luyaha clan swears by its totem while telling a lie, the totem's price is bad luck or death. Renowned as Kenya's running tribe, the Kalijin bring the young folk into the tribe through an initiation ceremony. According to tradition, the Kalijin hold the ceremonies every seven years, so that initiates become members of an age set. The ceremony sees males getting circumcised and going to seclusion to learn adult skills. Afterwards, their role is to protect the tribe as warriors. The Chaga are the third largest ethnic group in Tanzania. They live in the slopes of Mount Kilimaharu in the north of the Maasai Steep and on a few villages near Mochi. They rely on medicine men to look after their spiritual health. Unlike Christians, the Chaga believe that they must purify the wounded person rather than the sinner so that the negative force does not stay with the victim. Medicine men use ingredients such as skin, dung, rainwater from a hollow tree, and snail shells for the cleansing. Their method is to paint victims with a mixture of the ingredients twice a day over four days. How interesting is that? For the Maasai of Kenya and Tanzania, life is a series of tests to which they learn to endure pain. Touch you when having the teeth removed by knife or early rites of passage through circumcision and excision are the most important rituals in their young lives. A father's ultimate duty is to ensure his children are not both them. The Kikuyu are the largest tribe in Kenya. Their mythology begins with a supreme creator and guy leaving heaven for the snowy summit of Mount Kenya, where he made Gikuyu, father of the Gikuyu people. Ngai gave the lands around the mountain to Gikuyu before sending him to a grove for fig trees. While there, Gikuyu met a woman named Numbi. The nine daughters she bore him would become the mothers of his tribe's nine clans. <laughs> 